Hello everyone, welcome to the trap series where I showcase some traps, show you how to build them and then rate them at the end. In this video I'm gonna show you this simple door trap. It works with this observer that is looking at the door, that once this door opens it's gonna quickly power this fence gate and that is gonna make this minecart fall and explode. This trap only works if the door is positioned like this, so one block into the wall so the observer needs to be placed right on top of the door now i'm gonna test this trap with full protection fall i'm gonna use this common block to put me exactly at the same coordinates every time so in the middle of this block so with full protection fall you take exactly six hearts of damage if you stand in this block now I'm gonna show you what happens if you stand right under the observer with this common block. As you can see one block makes all the difference. So you're gonna want the victim of the trap to run inside the house as quickly as possible. So the minecart will explode right near to them. Since I survived with full protection 4 at one block extra distance. I'm gonna do the same test, but with the elytra. Let's see if this I survive. As you can see, I can't survive with the elytra, with, even with one extra block of distance from the TNT minecart. So this trap is very little if your victim uses the elytra. Now I'm gonna do the same test, but with plus protection 4. So we take 4 arts of damage with blast protection 4 with the first test. Now let's see with the second one. So it seems we take the same damage that we took with the protection 4 with one block extra distance. So blast protection will make you survive this trap. I'm gonna test it with the elytra with blast protection on all the other pieces. First test. 5 arts of damage. Now second test. 7 arts of damage. So even with the elytra you are gonna survive this trap if you have blast protection 4. This trap can be easily avoided if you use a totem because it only uses one minecart so you're gonna have only one explosion so it's gonna pop the totem and uh, you're gonna still be alive with the revive from the totem now for the last test i'm gonna show you what happens uh, with the explosion damage i'm gonna open the door as you can see a lot of blocks are gonna get destroyed keep in mind if you build it in your friend's base it's not gonna be happy now i'm gonna show you how to build it the materials you're gonna need are these ones so first you're gonna need to place an observer looking at the door, so with the face looking down, then any block on top of the observer, then a fence gate here, then you're gonna need to place a temporary block on top of the fence gate, you need to place the minecart here, so you need to place a rail on top of this block and the minecart, and then break this block. The minecart is gonna fall on top of the fence gate and the trap is primed. If uh, you for some reason you wanna disable this trap, you just need to break this block and uh, you can open and close this door freely. But once you place this block, the trap is gonna activate once uh, you open the door. This block over here needs to be a uh, full block, so any block that uh, redstone will pass through. So it can't be a glass block, as you can see if I open the door now, the fence gate doesn't open. Now I'm gonna rate this trap, I'm gonna rate it by its simplicity, so how hard is it to build, the materials you're gonna need, and uh, the ease of use of this trap. I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10 for simplicity, because uh, there are some hard materials to get, as uh, the quartz, and uh, a lot of iron for the minecart and uh, the gunpowder. Next, for the lethality, lethality means uh, how easy it is to kill a player, depending on their gear. I'm gonna give it 6 out of 10 for the lethality because as you saw from the test you can still survive this trap 
and a totem will uh, stop you from dying so it's not totem proof then versatility which describes uh, where you can place this trap and how easy it is to find a place where to put it this trap needs a door doors are pretty common so it's not hard to find a place but it's hard because uh, as you can see it takes a lot of vertical space which a lot of houses don't have at their front door so you're gonna need to find a tall ceiling for this trap and if you have a different door like the acacia one you need to get close to see the observer so i'm gonna give it 4 out of 10 for versatility now i'm gonna put it on the tier list since this is the first episode i don't have anything to compare it against so i'm gonna give it a solid b by the way if you have a better name for the traps leave it in the comments and i'm gonna replace this as uh, the name for this trap that's all for today see you in the next trap oh.